I've come to sunny Northern Ireland to explore this garage here, this shed, which has a bit of a father-son obsession of both old Opals and Vauxhall Novas. I'm very much looking forward to this. So this, of course, is a car cave edition of The Late Break Show, and I'm Johnny Smith. Welcome. It's gonna rain in a minute really hard. This is Adrian. Adrian, this is your shed. It's a great shed. Thank you. So you share your car cave with your dad? Yeah, the two of us. Um, I picked the disease up from him early on. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> and I know you've got another garage just next to this one. Yeah. It's a bit smaller. Yeah, a bit darker. So tell me about your, before we delve into all the, the cars, because there's some great yeah. colourful retro cars around. What got you into cars? Like what started all of this? Well, my my mum had a Vauxhall Nova when I was born. That was the car that I always remember as yeah. a child. Um, it's a three door. My granny then decided she liked the Vauxhall Nova. So she bought a five door GL. <laughs> and uh, after six months, my granny decided she didn't like it, wanted yeah. a bigger car. So because I was a young baby at the time, my dad sold the three door and kept the five door from my mum. And that was the car that took me through my school years, right until uh, I started secondary school. And it's just always, just a Nova has so always all been. all through the 80s and the 90s, yeah. it was a Vauxhall Nova. An, a Nova. Yeah. So um, you're, you've I, become the Nova man. Yeah, I just always, it was an SR Nova I wanted when I was 17. Yeah. Obviously insurance, that didn't happen, but I still had a Vauxhall Nova. Yeah. yeah. So how many Novas have you got right now? Two, four. Seven. 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 Wow. You are the Nova man. And there's loads of, you'll see as we walk around, there's loads of Nova spares <laughs> dotted around yeah. the corners of the garage. Because this is a working yeah. garage, right? Yep. You know, like yep. cars that you drive every day. Uh, you don't use, you, no. these cars all get used between you and your, your old man. Yeah. But what do you use every day? Me, uh, I have a real exciting car history. I have a Ford Ranger. And with four children, I have a Volkswagen Charan. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So MPV and a pickup truck. Yeah. <laughs> right. How did your dad get into this? Because, well, my dad is all, you know, he's always been in the cars. He had Opel Esconas, um, as you know, he has not the same cars, but the same as what he had when he was younger. Well, but, let, let's dive into, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into the, the first car that you see here, this incredible Manta. So we'll have a we'll chit chat about that. This is an, an I-200 replica, which yep. was a hom homologation special in yep. 1984. Um, we had heard of a local genuine I-200, but the guy that has it didn't want to sell it. So we went the next best thing and built the replica. Yep. Uh, this car here, particular, we um, found it in Hamburg, Germany, through a, a friend in the Lake District, who's now sadly departed, um, through Turner. Uh, it was a standard 1977 early B series car with the small bumpers, the big headlights, and the two slot grille. Yeah. But there's only 60,000 kilometres on it. So, and with the German textbook, you're able to see the date of birth of the previous owner of the car. We only had one previous owner, and she was born in 1923. 1923. 23. Wow. So okay. The car hadn't done too much. Um, all we have done really is respray and fit the later body kit to the car on the outside. Uh, the Rothman stripes here are actually they're painted on. They're not. They're not graphic. They're not decals. No. They're wow. Um, okay, so you've really gone to town on it. Yeah. I just. I mean, I. I think it looks so cool. Yeah. The the fabric inside is a particular high point for me. Yeah. That's That's, that is a that was a another Saturday night eBay Germany purchase. 
Are they, are they original then? They're genuine. Oh, original. wow. Yeah. yeah. The, the car originally had a bright blood red vinyl interior, carpet, yeah. dashboard, everything. Yeah. But um, obviously that didn't fit in with our, our plans. I'm sure it. that's gone to another owner though. Uh, it, yeah. Yeah. It, Brilliant. It, Behold, this is Nova Mecca. Is this right? This is the, the decals yeah. say it all. A yeah. sport. A sport. So talk to me about the Nova Sport then, in case anybody is watching this and doesn't yeah. quite know the significance. Well, Nova Sport, another homologation special, built 1985, um, 502 built in total. Is that all? Well, officially 502. Some people say maybe 490. <laughs> but <laughs> Okay, okay. And you have more than one Nova Sport? Yes, I have two. I have another... This was the first one you, you this acquired? This was the first one. Yeah. Again, a lucky story. I had a black Nova GSI that I took a mad notion and sold it. And it was a guy from Cork at the very bottom of Ireland bought the car. So I met him halfway when he delivering the car. And on the way back up the road home, I got a phone call asking me if anybody, if I knew anybody wanted to buy a Nova Sport. Oh gosh. On that day? On the, on the journey home. Oh man. So me being a 19 year old with cash in my pocket, I had a Nova Sport bought before I got home. It was restored and sat parked in a barn for the best part of 15 years. The guy who restored it, his wife hated the interior and refused to, refused to get into it. So I love the interior. <laughs> Have you done anything else to it? Cause I'm uh, looking at all the decals. Cause these decals no, are really body specific. Body wise, I have done nothing. I did rebuild the engine after it sat for a while, but um, that's that's all I've done to it. It's, it's all, Everything is as as it was yeah. when I got it. Why? My, I had a sister-in-law got married in June, and she didn't want the traditional kit car, wedding car. Yeah, yeah the pretend and, Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah. And, the Excalibur or whatever they're yeah. called. So. I have three white Novas, so I was tasked to have the three white Novas for her wedding transportation. She had all three? All three, yeah. So I have the two sports and a turbo diesel. <laughs> so I had... That's three. cool. Yeah. Wow, okay, so okay. I never thought I'd see the day a Nova wedding car, but... No, yeah. I've never yeah. seen a Nova wedding car of you. Yeah. <laughs> These are really comfortable. Yeah, I'll sell you them for your idle chats. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> What are the, presumably these are Nova as well. Oh, Nova, yeah. So this one here, this is yeah. this is a, a, a it's a five door. Five isn't door, it? yeah. One point yeah. three GL. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my mum's one, which is it's currently in the paint shop, the shell. But this here, unfortunately, has been bought to strip. It's a twenty three thousand mile car. Wow. Um, but parts for three door Novas is getting hard to get but five door is just impossible because no, nobody kept them the, you know they have no interest to anybody yeah it was my memory of my first memory of a car yeah um later on I always said to myself I would have a Helios blue five door Nova again I was in getting parts for one of my other cars and I'd spotted this five, five door shell in the corner of a, of a yard, a salvage yeah, yard? Yeah. No, just a guy that had Nova's oh, right. parts. And I seen it, and I looked at it, and I knew it was a GL. So I asked him a bit about it. Yeah. And he said, that's a local car. I, I think I have the tax book somewhere. He showed me the tax book. I seen the registration and said nothing, but insisted on buying the car, and then told him afterwards why I wanted it. So that was the car? The car. It was on death's door? It, yeah, it, the next step It was, was a stripped shell? It was a stripped shell, but I have, I have. Wow. So that's being restored right now. Yeah. And that's what this is going to be. Yeah. Uh, Donating and it's trim too. Yeah. It's a shame to do it, but. Yeah, but it's such a great sentiment. Yeah. Well, the fact that you found it is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Another fast car. Let's talk about the yeah. fast one. So a bug eye Impreza. Yeah but yeah. not any old bug eye in Pretza. No. I like the bug eye. Well, we sold the Manta. So with myself and my father took a notion that we would buy a Subaru Impreza. 
the only stipulation was it's not to be a bug eye. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Anything but a bug eye. Any, anything but a bug eye. <laughs> so, so what happened? It, well, we were looking and I seen this advertised, just fresh in from Japan, and S two O two. I knew a bit about an S two O two, and I knew it was a fairly special car. So I don't know anything about the S two O two. Yeah, uh, four hundred made. Um, all light bit panels, um, STI rose jointed suspension, um, apparently the drivers and Predza. Wow, okay. So we went looked at it. It looks, it looks good. I was, I was looking around it. Yeah. I noticed the, the suspension parts earlier when yeah. we were sat down. Yeah. Your dad is, is a bad influence on you. Yeah. You are as bad as one another. Yeah. Well, we, Just because you we, sold a car doesn't mean you have to buy another one. Uh, well, it keeps, it keeps everything together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you are you are tight on space because yeah. as a result, aren't you? We, yeah. We're we trying to shimmy out as much. What's yeah. the deal with the tractor, remind me? Well, um, that is, as I was joking earlier, a left-hand drive tractor. <laughs> uh, no, it's an Italian import vineyard tractor. I love it. It's just yeah. narrow track. Narrow track. I'm going to say big horsepower. It's big horsepower for the size of it. Okay. But... Um, Built by Landini in, in Italy, but they're badged as a Massey Ferguson. Right. So is that, who use it? Do you use that? Oh, my dad used it. Uh, the excuse for buying that was uh, if it ever snows, he can clear the snow away. <laughs> so weak. Such a weak <laughs> excuse for purchasing a tractor. I love it. This was my dad's first classic car as such. Okay. This, this was the one that started for him. Right, okay. This one looks in really good, Nick. Lovely, yeah. lovely rims. Yeah, this was a company car, and then the guy that had it as his company car then bought it. Yeah. It's a special edition, sil silver two, they call it. There's only, there's 250 Ascona's made and 250 Amantas made with the silver paint, the blue velour interior, and it was built to, for the launch of the, two, you know, the then new two liter engine. Oh, so there's a, uh, as far as I'm aware, there's only another one silver two Ascona that we know of. Is that it? Yeah. And since since we've had it, it started off life as an automatic. We've converted it to manual, yep. and it's had a full stripped down rebuild respray. So this is a restored car now. Yeah. Because it does look stunning. Yeah. I have then, to say. Well. Much to, I don't know, it wouldn't have been my dad's thing, but I've lowered it and put these BBS. Oh, it was you? That was I was going to say, is, he, I was gonna say, is your dad the guy who's, who's tweaked the suspension? In? Okay. Yeah, it's, well, it's a, it's a four-door Ascona. I just, I just like to do something just to liven, yeah. liven it up a bit. You know, yeah. it's, well, it's reversible. It, it's reversible, yeah. I didn't want to do anything that was going to change yeah. the car. But again, um, back to the theme of wedding cars, I used this car on... Um, the other blue A series is going to that we'll see. I but use it at my wedding. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. These cars, I mean, I know the Irish weather is pretty tough on cars. Yeah. A lot of them have rotted away. Yeah. Um, you can hear the Irish weather, by the yeah. way, on the roof as well, we speak. Uh, mo yeah, I'm just look, most of the cars we have here actually come from England. You know, we, we bought them in England. Or, Did you? Yeah. We must look at the 400. <laughs> When you struck it up to warm it through, yeah. that, that gargle from it, the 45 yeah. Webers. It's, uh, it's addictive. So what, what is this then? What's the setup? Because it's a 16-valve... Uh, red Top Calibre engine. Yeah. Um, twin 45s, um, operated camshafts, MBE management for the ignition. Um, I just, just want to go out and drive it. If it, yeah. was an, if it was a nice day, yeah. I bet uh, this thing's an absolute hoot. Uh, yeah, it can be quite dangerous. Can it? <laughs> oh, a wet day, yeah. Oh, I bet. <laughs> the, I bet. The, the back's uh, lively. Yeah. So the story behind the 400. Yeah. This uh, is again. an Ascona, not a Manta. Well, well this is an Ascona 400 replica again. Yeah. Um, uh, just a 400 would be nice, but if I had a 400, it would be sitting in a 
like on the mountain piece nearly yeah. i just wouldn't want to be driving it but how much is a 400 worth right now i know the last one is in the six figures okay okay so you wouldn't really use it no no to me that's it's beyond beyond my means yeah yeah so this is uh, one of these projects between you and your, yeah. your old man well this car um we bought it and as a 400 replica with everything but since we've bought it it has it's had a complete strip down and rebuild but in all intents and purposes it looks exactly the same as it did but yeah yeah um this car has been a 400 replica since the early 80s oh really yeah oh I, wow so i have pictures of this car in its original incarnation in black and it actually um it was about 10 miles down the road is where this car was originally built okay so it's really local yeah now it was a bit further away when we bought it but um i've done a bit of a tour of the country here but and i've noticed some choice mods you've obviously got yeah. like you say the 16 valve yeah. red top the weber yeah. 45s yeah interesting brake setup yeah the master the, cylinder yeah the master uh the, the servo master cylinder move forward to allow the fitment of the carburetors it's volvo 240 front calipers yeah carlton discs you know the mark one carlton discs oh wow yeah yeah um rear is Vauxhall Zafira calipers it, and is discs it, is it yeah. okay um and hydraulic handbrake and i noticed yeah. the inter there's some differences in the interior yeah. too well, we're actually uh subaru impreza wrx seats um just with our own switch panel made up mount the five speed gearbox Corsa B power steering and a few a few gauges just for the effect. Yeah, so the, you, you you both you and your dad enjoy driving this one a lot. Yeah, yeah. Everybody loves the Escona. Yeah, you know, just much it's, more than it's the, the it's the <laughs> yeah. Irish motorsport thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. got to be. So, where is the Manta Four Hundred? Well, it was taken to a show, and there's a guy. I'm going to contradict what I just said, but there's a guy said he wanted the Manta, and the Manta wasn't for sale. Okay. But he made an offer, and the Manta was sold. Oh, really? So he hounded you? Yeah. So new money brings new goods, so we have probably a spiritual successor to the Manta, and we placed it with a Subaru Impreza. Okay, so, cause the, so the Scooby is where the Manta used to live? Yeah. I bet they're great-looking bedfellows, though, the, the yeah. Escona and the uh, Manta. They were, yeah, yeah, it's sort of... Yeah, we have the Subaru, but there's still a tinge of regret every time you think of the Manta. Is there? Yeah. It's true. But His dad off camera did say to me, I do miss the, uh, yeah. the Manta. Yeah. Right, another Nova time. Mm. Nova, I nearly said Nova time, <laughs> which is a bad pun. Stop. Hammer time. So what's the story with the GSI? Well, this, this was the first car, that, not my first car, but the first classic as such car that I bought. Okay. It originally started off as diamond black, and I had you know, needed work, so I had stripped it to repaint it. And in the middle of that, I got word of another diamond black GSI. So me being me, I went, looked at it, and I bought it. So I thought when I came home, I said, there's no point having two the same. So, so you did a red one? I did a red one. So this has been restored? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What kind of condition was it in when you... When it was okay. It needed back arches and just the usual, but there was no there's no major welding done to it. It looks really sound. Yeah, oh, it's a sound car, yeah. Now, um, I I built it all myself, but I'm not a mechanic, never had any training. So Haven't you? This was my baptism of fire. So I had stripped that to a bare shell, which by all accounts was easy, but then when I started to rebuild it, I panicked, so... I think it took me 10 years to actually get it built, but... 10? 10. Wow, okay. I, I sort of felt like I overwhelmed myself at the start, but... Yeah. I Always got go, That's when digital cameras yeah. or phones are an absolute wonder. Yeah. For photographing stuff before you dismantle it. Yeah, well, I... I my, and labelling stuff and putting it well, in boxes. The, the only thing I labelled was the wiring loom for all the, the plugs and the dashboard, but when you actually got to putting it all back together, you know, everything falls into place i didn't need to do that but <laughs> so the, you did the one thing you labeled you didn't need to label yeah. it looks well, great yeah it, it looks but great then i um of course couldn't 
couldn't leave it standard, so it was uh, high lift cam and twin 45s. So, so this so is I've, I've this done I've done away with the multi point injection. Oh, so it's a GSI, but it's carbed. Yeah. Hang on, you, there's, a, there's a pattern for me. <laughs> Before we walk out of here, we must talk about the yeah. lovely little Austin in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Because it looks, I know it's a bit grimy and mouldy, yeah, uh, but it yeah. looks really solid. No, that's a solid car. Again, as I bought it from you, um, it was my grandmother's car. Uh, my grandmother wasn't the best of a driver, so there was always a car kept as a backup, just in case. And this was the backup car for many years. Your grandma had a backup car. Yeah. She it makes it sound like she's a rally driver. <laughs> right, we before we leave, we must reference the 405. A bit of a yeah. rare but nobody cares car these days. V very much so. Yeah. But uh, your dad's not yours. My dad's, totally my dad's. Um, I just got the phone call on the way home from work. I bought another car. I said, great, what is it? Thinking something along these lines. Yeah. Um, I didn't know whether to be happy or sad when he said a Peugeot 405. Condition but, of it. Yeah, it was the condition he'd seen it advertised. He did have 405s back in the day, so yeah. he'd seen that and just, again, yeah. nostalgia. Well, just, yeah. I feel old for knowing and remembering when these were launched. Yeah. A lot of my mate's parents had them yeah. and they were amazing. And the TV advert was just, Yeah. you remember the, uh, the, the fire? Yeah. The field on fire. Yeah. yeah. Berlin, take my breath yeah. away. Yeah. It, it was it was a great ad. Yeah. And they were, these were the taxi driver's favourite. Yeah. Now unfortunately this is a petrol, not diesel like most, but yeah. that was the condition sold What's it. What's the him. mileage of this? Uh it's less than fifty thousand. Is it? Yeah. Because it I mean the inside is it's a festival of tartan. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. There's a lot of tartan going on actually in these guys. <laughs> yeah. The Nova's all tartaned up, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. E46 M3, my favourite yep. M3. My favourite. <laughs> and this is this lives over in your other garage, yep. doesn't it, Normally We brought it yep. round to have a good look. I love the colour. This was the colour yep. that I remember when it launched. I thought yep. it was phenomenal. It was quite controversial. Yep. Yeah, this, I think this was the launch colour. Yeah. Yep. So what's the score then for you? Why, why, why does it live in the cave? Well, it was always what I'd call my dream car. I, uh, I like Ferraris and that, but... I have no intention of ever owning one. Yeah. And um, my dad likes BMWs, so we decided M3s are our next purchase. Yeah. It looks clean, it, really clean. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't take the credit for that. The previous owner, he uh, he did all the work. We just bought it as is. So what's it, what is it? Is it had some renovation work? Yeah, on it's it? full underside restoration, all new bushes front to back from BMW. Painted floor, the sub the subframe strengthening kit, um, eight pot front brakes, six pot rears, Bilstein coilovers. Gosh. The the bottom end burns are famous for going in these. Yeah. I think mostly an internet myth, but engines rebuilt just in case. Really. Yeah. Wheels. Wheel CSL replica wheels. Um, yeah. Again. Yeah common but they're i think they're common for a reason yeah they just suit the car so well yeah yeah they have a genuine csl boot lid on it as well genuine carbon so oh yeah. yeah and it's got that interior the yeah. body colored interior yeah which is just so quirky it, it, i love it and this yeah. was this was straight six yeah. at its best yeah what a great what a great car yeah what a great car. Let's go and have a quick look in your other shed. Yep. Okay, so Adrian, yep. this is... This is storage. This is storage. Yeah. We've cleared a few bits and bobs out the way. Yep. We can't get these cars out. You've got, you got a bit of everything here. Yeah. Uh, you've got a, a, another Nova. Yeah. A Corsa, which I've yep. not seen. This is your one and only Corsa. Yeah. And then you've got but, your dad. This, this is a great car. That's, that's another Roscona. An A-series, yeah. So an earlier car, yeah. yeah. Again, similar yeah. recipe to the, yeah. the B. Yeah. This again, is you, isn't it? That's my this... influence again. Have you lowered it? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the um, yeah. the SR Nova first. Because this looks in excellent yeah. condition. There's um, 8,000 miles in that car from you. Eight? Eight. <gasps> yeah. I, got it. I got it. Really? Yeah. 
Bloody hell, 8,000 miles. Yep. yep. That is a real yep. time warp. And yet at the time I had another one exactly the same and fell in with that. So. And did you put and, the speed lines well, on it? Yeah, again, like the CSL wheels and the BMW, they're, they're common for a reason, but that's, this is the car that 17-year-old me wanted, so. Gosh, 8,000 mile Nova SR, that's amazing. Yeah. Crumbs. Okay, why, I, I get the Nova, this is the car that replaced the Nova. Yeah. What's the deal? I can't answer that, I just seen it, low mileage, and I bought yeah. it. There's no, I never, never owned a Corsa B ever. No. But again, it's, there's 23,000 miles in that. So. Okay. Um, I had the, the wheels that's on it. I had them for the, the GSI Nova. So I've put them just in that. See, these were everywhere. Yeah. And they seem to have quite a survival, quite a high survival rate. I think they probably lasted well. Um, but I haven't seen a sport. No, the time. sports, the sports and well, the GSI especially, the, you know. GSIs are come on mega money now. Are they? Yeah. This is yeah. the Ascona, first generation Ascona. Yeah. We'll try and get some good shots of it. It's tucked in. It's next to, and I'm not even going to make eye contact with it, the most wobbly, precariously yeah. placed shelf of DIY ever. I cannot believe that that MDF is still there. Look at it. Yeah. It looks like the Salvador Dali does DIY. Yeah. But it's a feature. Everybody that comes into this garage comments on it. And <laughs> as I send you, 25 years it's been like that. So 25 We, we years. don't touch it now, just in case. No, no, nobody touch it. Thanks for showing me around. No because problem. I love finding people who are really into a specific kind of car. Yeah. You are uh, Nova man. I, guilty. And your dad is a Skona man. Yeah. <laughs> Nova Skona. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's great. What what car is next if you had to? If I had to. Uh, We've said your well, dad's got to get a Carlton GSI. Oh, Carlton GSI. That would be good. Um, I still have a notion of an Astral Blue M3. Oh, really? Still. It's, a niche has to be scratched. Right. So would you sell that M3 to get that? No. Or would you? No. no. Get another one. Another one. Okay. It's great. It's great if you can do it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed yeah. this car cave episode with Adrian and his dad mm -hmm. in Northern Ireland. Um, if you haven't already seen other car cave episodes, I'll put the playlist somewhere on the screen. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and maybe put a comment down. Which is your favourite car that he has in his lovely shed? I like your shed. Thank you. I need to get myself a farm building shed <laughs> garage thing. It works. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah.